Lazarus will be gone. Alright. So what that means is, like, anytime we catch a Pokemon within a you Pokeball... join the rest of the survivors. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say... I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes if I am ever to sleep again. Okay. Don't worry, my skeleton mages will keep you alive. I'm not even joking. Um, yeah, so like we can only catch Pokemon within a Pokeball. We can only use said Pokemon within a Pokeball. Now, if there is a mystery gift or anything during during the, the whole thing. Uh, and if it is not within a Pokeball, uh, then we cannot use it during the Let's Play. Or playthrough, whatever, it doesn't matter. Thing that I wanted to uh, mention as well. Uh, this is more of a rant kind of thing for Sword and Shield, so eh, you've been warned pretty much. Um, I would technically do it on the Sword and Shield video, but I don't have any that are being done right now, so yeah. Um, so when Sword and Shield first came out, or at least when you, if you bought the, the dual collection kind of thing, uh, you were given these uh, specialized, I, I guess it's the better way of calling it, maybe special is more of a, the closest thing to it, I'm not quite sure, a version of a wishing star that you have to go to the Dragon Spiral Tower thing and you would be given this wishing star you're supposed to place onto onto that sort of den. I'm afraid not. And when you do so, you will be going into a Dynamax den against the Pokemon the, that you've chosen. Now, uh, the Pokemon that I... So I actually got this event. Uh, the two Pokemon that were... Uh, there was a Larvitar and a Jengmo? Jengmo? -o? I don't know. Something like that. Um, so, literally, so literally between the, those two Pokemon, you could be able to catch it within any kind of Pokeball you want. And I thought, from day one, I literally thought that events were going to be something similar to this. Where you were going to be able to catch the Pokemon in whatever Pokeball you wanted... And you're gonna have a good time, and I thought, hey, that's gonna be a really cool idea. Because it's gonna be as close to what the original events in the old and old games used to be. Now, if you don't uh, know this, because you weren't there when Gen three, Gen four were like literally the new games. Uh, events used to be actually interactable, where, um, I'm trying to remember how, uh, they worked. I never got them, but I saw videos about them. Uh, Naval Rock, for instance, I think for Gen 3 was, I think, one of the ones that I saw that I thought I could literally get a hold of, but I couldn't because I was, because I never really went when they had that event out. But, uh, same idea. It would give you a, an item, and you would be able to go to a random fairy. That fairy would take you to that location. When you go to, uh, I said location... You much guilt over Nia's fate. How do you know that name? I see the past as well as the future. Okay. You must not let it consume you. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, they were very interactable, and you could go through this new area. I don't know if there was wild Pokemon. The person that I probably watched ended up using a Repel, so I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, like, they, they you're able to go through a different, a new area that's not been explored yet, kind of thing, uh, during the main game, and you can go through all of that. 
Now, if I'm able to go through, um, now if I'm able to, like, hack in or code it into my Let's Play kind of thing or playthrough for those games, I'll definitely do it just to show it off. But again, same idea, though, like, mostly, uh, like, mostly those ones were very interactable. Another one was Dark Rise. You have much to be joyful about. I do not revel in joy as others do. I have learned that in terrible situations it is better to laugh than to cry. Perhaps when you have lost as much as I, you will understand. Okay. Yeah, so it's literally over here. So, like, a dark cry was, like, you had to go to, like, a kid's house and... Then you get, are supposed to get like a certain ticket, and then you go to a house, then you go to sleep, and then you get teleported to an island. And then once you go onto that said island, um, you then fight Darkrai, and then you actually fight him, or, or fight it, and then you can catch it in whatever Pokemon you want. See, this is what events should be. Not just, here's the Pokemon. Because that's not interactable at all. That just means you're just giving it to us. My bag is full. I'm returning to town. I'm not saying don't not give us any Pokemon. I'm just saying though, like, don't just give us a Pokemon and go, yeah, good enough. That's not cool at all. That is not possible. Uh, just looking for everything. Look for anything that might be better. But that's the thing that I hated about that. And when Sword and Shield showed off that, like, you can get Jangma-O and all the other... And the, the Larvitar through dens, I thought they were literally going to start using dens for that kind of stuff. And I thought, hey, that's a cool idea. Because, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like paying an homage to the original ways of getting events. Then I found out that it's mostly Japan that's getting them. And not us. And I thought that was really, like, that was really sad, to be fair. Like, I understand that your main audience is is in Japan, but seriously, come on. You guys could have done better than that. You guys could have literally just started giving us those same events. Literally, don't change anything. Just give us those events. But no, they decided to just not give us those events, and I feel bad because, like, I literally would have loved to have those events. Not saying that those Pokemon are actually, like, I thought those are, like, my favorite Pokemon and I want them. No. It's just that I would have really liked to have that sort of interactability, like, like they used to have. I want to see what these pants are. Something better, please. Yes! When three or more enemies are within 12 yards, you release a foul stance that deals weapon damage as poison every second for 5 seconds, and he's within 15 yards. Wait. If three or more enemies are within 12 yards, you release poison damage for 5 seconds to enemies within 15 yards. Wouldn't it just be 12? Anyway. Who cares? Uh, wait a minute. Oops. Oh, it's up here. But yeah, like, I, I got really confused by that. Like, why would you have... Like, why would you have it so that, like, you have a den that... I don't even know if you can throw a normal wishing piece in it. I don't think so. Uh, I think it's literally for event-based ones. And then not release another event-based ones for your North American audience. Ah, I heard you were in town, hero. Should have known you'd show up time for a fight. Okay. Like, to me, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you add this sort of thing and then not... If I know these bastards, they've got reinforcements. Yeah, they have reinforcements, all right. I'm sorry for skipping your text. I don't know why that button literally does that. I don't mean to skip. 
I didn't even skip that. That was the game. There you go. You're just as good as I remember, old friend. I'll be seeing you again soon. Do we know him? I don't know. I'm also just trying to finish the story area for now. I'm hoping it's like over here or something. But yeah, but that kind of thing is like always inf uh, like infuriated me where they just hand give it to you. And I understand that they're using like a special Pokeball specifically called the Cherish Ball as like a special kind of Pokeball that it was like the only thing that could contain like a mythical or a legendary Pokemon. But when it has the same catch rate as a, as a normal Pokeball, if you were to ever actually obtain it, is really, is really dumb in my opinion. But not only that, though, they don't even give us an option of just changing it to a different, like, kind of Pokeball design. Now, I understand, uh, for, for one thing, having a shiny lock Pokemon uh, for your game. I understand why Eternatus is shiny locked. But when you shiny lock your box legendary, or like the box legendary... Yeah. To me, it feels like infuriating because if a person really wants to get that shiny Zashin or shiny Zamazenta that they can rename, uh, they should be allowed to do that. So if you don't know, uh, I think it was literally a week ago, I'm not quite sure. I know I got mine uh, about a couple days ago. Uh, they finally released uh, Shiny, Zamazenta, and possible. Zashin. Or Zaki and Zashin. I don't know. However you pronounce it, uh, the Sword Doggo kind of thing. Uh, they released a Shiny version of that. And they ended up giving everybody a Cherish Ball Zashin. Now, this doesn't infuriate me at all. It doesn't anger me at all that they did that. They can do whatever they want. It doesn't really matter. So I think it's like down here that I need to go. So them releasing that is not a huge deal in my opinion. If they want to release it that way, be my guest. I'm not too angry about that. What angers me is that you can't rename it. At all. Now if you don't know this, uh, because it's a brand new, it was, it was it's not... I don't, want, I don't want to say it's not well known, but uh, it originally was well known, but maybe Sword and Shield is not really as well known for this. Um, originally, when you get a traded Pokemon, you cannot rename it at all. You cannot rename it no matter what you do. Uh, it is impossible to rename a traded Pokemon. With Sword and Shield, I think they added an abil the ability for you to do so. But it's only once, right? So you only get one rename after that. It's over. That's all well and good. Uh, the problem with... Okay, I need to go here. The problem with uh, Sword and Shield specifically... When it comes to dispatching Death's minions. Thank you. Uh, the problem with Sword and Shield... Speci uh, like The problem with those legendaries specifically is that you cannot rename them. Now, this isn't the first Don't legendary that me. they've done. I'll just be waiting over here. Okay. Uh, the other legendary that I'm talking about, I don't even know about the Zaruts yet. Um, the other legendary that I'm talking about, though, is literally the um, the the G Max uh, Mel Metal that originally was out. 
uh, the G-Max Melmetal was another one that had that, like, sort of restriction as well. Uh, not only did they add the restriction to the Melmetal specifically, but they also gave it the ability that it cannot be nicknamed at all. And not only that, instead of pretty much allowing us to G-Max our own Melmetals that have already been EV or IV trained or IV bred, EV trained and all that stuff. Did it just skip text again? Why? Anyway. What was that wretched noise? That was the Urzael. And? Urzael is the angel who commands Malthael's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. I have that effect sometimes. Tyrael should hear of this. Okay. I need to go back. Well, I might as well just go and uncraft everything and just finish my topic. So yeah, so like I'm, I'm mostly just furious about that. The fact that like they keep doing this thing. Like, I, I'm just really angry about that, to be fair. Like, they have all of this, like, amazing stuff that they're doing in Japan, but yet they're not bringing it over to, to like, North America, and yet, like, the ones we're getting is, here's your legendary. Okay. Do we get a cool storyline to go and, you know, catch the thing? Nope. We're just gonna give it to you. Okay, but that's not what we want. We want to be able to actually, like, you know, interact with the game in order to do it. Nope, you don't get that. Really furiating. So, uh, that is going to be it for now. Uh, next time, we will probably finish the game. Uh, I am not quite sure. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time for some more Diablo 3.